I get a lot of questions from people about optimization. And I usually respond by saying, I don't use optimization myself because it's nothing more than curve fitting. Now, I do use it occasionally just to get some kind of idea which settings I might want to tweak, but I don't rely on optimization. I don't run a lot of it. The reason is not just because it is simply curve fitting, and I'm just going to demonstrate something to you today that might surprise a few of you so that you can maybe reproduce these results on your own. I'm using the MetaQuotes demo account. I have chosen the Expert Advisor as the MACD sample, and that comes with MetaQuotes, so, or comes with MetaTrader. It's here in the examples, MACD, MACD sample. I'm using EURUSD 15 minute chart. I'm going to set my time range from the 12th of June 22 to the 11th of June 23. So that's a year. Now there are two methods basically of performing optimization. There's the slow complete algorithm and the fast genetic based algorithm. Uh, the all symbols simply runs through all of the symbols that you have in the market watch. So that's really just a way of adding more iterations. The slow complete algorithm will attempt to process every combination of the settings that you apply in the inputs. So using this EURUSD on the MACD sample, I'll just go to the inputs. And the first input here is number of lots. So I'm not going to bother to optimize that. But if I set the optimizer on take profit pips and with a start of 10, step of five and stop of 100, you can see here on the right, that's 19 iterations. If I then add in the trailing stop, beginning at 10, step of five, up to a stop of 50, that's nine iterations there, multiply the two of them and you get 171 that's shown here. If I add in the MACD open level and the close level, both beginning at one, stepping by one and going to 10 and nine, then I have a combination now of 15,390 iterations. If I run this with the slow complete algorithm, this will take a long time. Even if you look at the help site for MetaTrader, it will tell you that the slow complete algorithm is very slow because it has to run through all 15,390 of these. And this is a relatively simple expert advisor. Uh, but just to show, I will click the start button and I'm not going to make you watch all of this, but I'm going to just wait until it shows the estimated time. And here it's showing at the moment seven and a half hours. Uh, it's jumping around a little, but even if that comes down to half, it's three and a half hours to run through all of those iterations. I won't let that run any further. But because the slow complete algorithm is so slow, there is also the fast genetic based algorithm. And this is what most people use, mainly because it's so much faster. The difference here, without going into too much detail, is that this will attempt to find branches of those iterations that look like they're dead ends and will simply not process that branch any further as a way of cutting down on the number of iterations. So I'm going to run this with the fast genetic based algorithm. Everything is as I've got set here. I haven't changed the inputs. I'll just click start. And that's already showing a much better estimate. It's down to 37 minutes uh, and that will drop a little further. I won't make you sit through this running. I'll actually pause the video and I'll come back when that has finished. All right, now I have a result here. I can see at the top of the list is the best profit, 1,310. And just to show you, I'm going to bring up the filters here and none of the filters are turned on. So this is everything. Let me now export this to Excel. And there are the results of that first run. You can see the top line here profit 1,310.15 and I've got the input. So I'm just going to convert this to a table. And then I'll put that away and try a second run. Now, all I'm going to do for this second run, I'm not changing any of the inputs, but I'm changing the period by one week. So beginning at the 19th of June 22 until the 18th of June 23. So it's still one year. I've just moved by one week. Now that second run has finished. I've got a different result to be expected because I've moved the time frame, but I've also got different settings here at the top of the list. I'm just going to export this to Excel so that I can run a comparison. Uh, well, first I'll show you the filters are still all off, so I've got everything showing. And there is my second set of results at the bottom of the screen. I'll also convert that to a table. And I've 
brought back the first set of results at the top of the screen there. So in the first pass, I had the best result with take profit 90, trailing stop 50, open 7 and close level at 9. In the second run, I've got a different result, but let's see where this line, see where that appears in this second set of results. So it's a take profit of 90. I'll just use the filters here. A trailing stop of 50. An open level of 7 and that's not even in the list now. So this best result from just one week earlier, a year still, but just slipped by one week, that best result doesn't even appear in these results. Now, I can accept that maybe that first week of the first run was a particularly good week, and the last week of the new run is a bad week, so maybe this is a bad result in the second run. But it just seems a little odd. Profit of 13.10, all I've done is move by a week and this doesn't even appear in the results. But let's just take it one step further. I'm going to simply run these settings through the tester and see what I get. So going back to the settings, I'm turning off optimization so that I can simply run this. Go to the inputs and the best settings I had, let me just bring them back on here from run number one, 90, 50, 7, and 9. Okay, 90, 50, 7, and 9. And if I just run that, there's my result, and I go to back test and this has made a profit of 1,247. This is still my slipped year from the 19th of June 22 until the 18th of June 23. The back test results show 1,247. Let me bring back onto the screen the results from the second run. And I'll remove the filters that I've added. And the best result, according to this, has a profit of only $908.57. So the best run from the optimizer for the week earlier now generates a result of 1,247 and doesn't even appear in the optimization results. So I think at this stage you get my point. If you've got the time and the computing power, by all means run the slow complete algorithm and get everything. But if you're like most people, you're running the fast genetic algorithm. And I think what I've demonstrated here is that you can't actually rely on that to give you the correct result. So that's all for this video. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, click the bell. I'll see you next time.